Good morning, welcome to the Terrace Talk. Coming to you from the North Beach Park in Perth. It's a brisk morning, it's pretty chilly here, but we're on our journey, brothers and sisters. Today, I'm just wanting to continue the message I sent yesterday and asking my friends, how are you going with really being open and honest with Yahusha from your heart? How real are you being? How are you going with this? Because we have to find how can men and women come out and be true to Yahusha? How can we get right? And this is something that I've noticed my husband coming through and he has changed dramatically. He is a different person to the guy that I married. And this has just been I've been observing and watching an unbelievable change. His personality, his whole attitude, his whole being has changed to a, a lovely, kind, understanding, loving, beautiful person. And this has been the work of Yahushua in his life, is the word put into practice. His behaviour has totally changed. and. This is just a, an example for, for us to follow so that we can see how to be. It's all about your behaviour, brothers and sisters. It's all about our behaviour. It says that a woman's behaviour can change a man. It can change without them saying a word, their behaviour. So let's look deeper in here and find where are we going? How are we to get through this marriage? How are we to overcome the blockages, the stops, the walls that come to us? I feel deeply for, for my sisters. I feel a deep feeling and sorrow for the way that the world portrays women and how hard it is for women to get free and to to not have all those silly games and worldly ways that they that we carry on with and observing through my life there's so many things I've hidden and not wanted to talk about I've never wanted to open up and really reveal myself because I wasn't really happy and who I am and who I've become my personality what I am what I'm presenting just felt so locked away and that's what demons do to us we have to realize we have to come out open up be real open up those secrets that you think you can't ever talk to anyone about and reveal the wickedness reveal that that's blocking you because only when we open up and talk about it let's talk about a marriage how can we get free of this marriage bondage? The bondage of marriage that's in the world, that's in us. And we can look at how did Yahuwah get free of the bondage and the wickedness that was at him in his marriage with the bride, Israel. How did he get free of that incredible situation he was in? being abused, having all the wonderful, wonderful miracles that he gave Israel, showed them the way, gave them the commands, told them how to be, worked all these amazing, powerful understandings with his people, his chosen people. He chose a race to love him, to be with him, to follow him, and they denied him. They had idolatry, they had idols and chose everything else except to honour him and follow him. How would you be in a marriage like that? How do you feel when your wife or your husband just won't come to any agreement, won't be nice, won't be happy, won't be satisfied? How would you feel if you've got a husband or a wife like that? 
and this is how Yahuwah feels. I, I've had a great understanding of Yahuwah's heart and what he went through with Israel and how how despicable and how cruel and horrible it must have been. His chosen race, his special people denied him and abused him and constantly refused his love, refused his wonderful, wonderful way. How would you get out of that marriage? How would he find a way? And he had a plan, his plan, divorcing Israel, getting free and leaving them, leaving their temple. His presence left the temple and went. And his plan was to come in the flesh. His plan was to come into the conception of Mary and become flesh. Yahuwah became no more. Yahuwah became a new creation of Yahusha. So Yahusha is the new creature, the new and living way. Yahusha is our redeemer. He is our deliverer. He became a new creature, a new person, the first fruits of the new creation. All this is written in scripture. This is how we come out of the bondage of our marriage. We have to become new. We have to be changed. We have to change our whole self only through the word and through putting it into practice and behaving and putting that in our hearts that we need to change, not be this same person, observing women today, observing the Natsurim and the believers and the bride today is very sad. I feel so sorry for women and it's just such a, a sad situation. There's no mentors, there's no one there leading the way. Who are we going to find this through? Yahusha said he had such compassion for women. It was just beautiful. Everywhere he was, he just loved women and put women in the place where they are uh, equal. They are his chosen. We are his chosen, sisters. Understand the love that Yahusha has for you and know that he will change you if you go all the way and open up your heart and be real. And this way that he came in the flesh Yahusha, the fullness of Elohim. The fullness of Elohim. He came in the flesh to, to show us how to get free, to how to be free of this bondage of marriage. The bondage of marriage is where we have to come to get free of. We feel like we're bound up indebted to, caught up, full of fear, not knowing which way to go. So this way is so important, brothers and sisters. We need to see how Yahusha went there for us. If we haven't got his guidance and his behavior and his person leading the way, taking up our stake and following him to our death, death of ourselves, death of who we think we are, then who who have we got? We've got the world. You slip back into the world and that's so, so sad because so many people go so far in the belief and they can't cope, they can't cop going any further because it hurts, it rips your heart out to face the reality of who you are and what you've done and how you've been. So just observing observing yourselves over your years, observing what's gone on, you can look and be objective and say, this is it. I know there's a better way. I know there's a freedom. And once you're free of the bondage of marriage, 
you can live together with your husband, with your wife as one. And that's the beauty, that's the wonderful understanding where Yahushua came in the flesh. He is Elohim and he will show you the way. You need his spirit, the right spirit. The journey is coming through and the progress, the process Yahushua wants to bring you to is to eternal life. Well, how can you have eternal life if you haven't changed? We have to change ourselves. We have to give ourselves to Yahushua. He will show you all the things that you need to change. Oh, he's been so intense on me with so many little details. He's there. If you acknowledge him, he's there all the time in every little detail. Even just coming to make this video, I got a <clears throat> I got a crank phone call saying that my bank account had been forged. I mean that's the demon, and it was a scam. And that's demons trying to stop and freak me out, so I wouldn't have a clear mind to come and talk about this. He freaks you out and tries to put fear and t and turmoil and confusion. A lot of fear is there. We have to get through this and understand Yahushua is full of love and wants his believers, his body, to come into that love and to know he has gone and walked that way. He has divorced Israel. He's come out of that dreadful bondage that he had with his people who didn't like him. Look how the Jews treated him. They killed him. They hated him. Look at the words of the Pharisees in the scriptures. Look how cruel and nasty and hateful and horrible. Well, that's, that's the religious Yahuwah only group that see only Yahuwah. That's the spirit behind this this movement that's that's going on in in amongst the body these unwise virgins are trying so hard to split and deceive and cut out cut away the truths that are coming but it's too late Yahushua's having his way Yahushua knows because his he's done his work and he knows anyone who really is true and honest and wants him real in their heart will find him seek and you'll find you have to seek into his word into the truth to find his way and brothers and sisters his way is full of love he will set you free in your home in your life in your marriage you will have this amazing love no matter what's gone down prior, no matter what's happened, how many arguments you've had, how much hurt and upset and abuse in any way in a family, in a marriage, Yahushua will heal you. He will forgive, give you forgiveness. He will set you free. Just repent and repent and get over because I'm coming out, I can see that I've come through this and it's just the most wonderful time. After having so much hurt and hurt and hate and not wanting to give in, Yahushua's setting me free and it's just, I have this love that I never had for my husband. It's just amazing. I've got amazing understandings that Yahushua's giving us. And it's so real, it's so true, because his word came in the flesh, showed us the way. He's written everything that needs to be written down. He's given us everything in his word. We have to read and do it and be active and show the way in our behaviour. I love you, brothers and sisters, and I just hope this is a good continuation keep going and fighting the good fight because his way he is 
the truth. He is the way. Take up your stakes to go to your death. Die to yourselves. Die to all those things that you've held in your heart. Die to all those wrong behaviours, those attitudes and ideas and illusions and deceits that you've kept in your, inside yourself all this time and you haven't ever wanted to open up to anyone. You never wanted anyone to know what was in there. Well, this is the way. Bring it out because he loves you so much and wants you, wants his captives to be free. And this is what we're coming to now in a marriage, talking to you about the marriage in the world with each other, how we are, all the attitudes and feelings and our behaviour in our marriage and how it is, the walls that we put up, the communication break down, so many complaints and upsets here and there and this is what a marriage is like in the world and Yahushua wants to, is to look at his marriage, what he went through when Yahuwah was married to Israel, his bride, his chosen people, the ones that he chose to be the example to the world, those that he wanted to be a light to show his esteem on this earth all through the history of what he did in the Old Testament, how he led his people out of bondage. He took them away from the burdens of slavery. He kept them and provided for them and gave them a way to worship him, he gave them his presence, gave them his light and his warmth at night and his cool in the day and food and sustenance and supported and supplied every need and we just look at how they treated him, complained, wanted to look around and worship other idols and have other ideas and opinions and and not not accept him, not even acknowledge him, not love him, not keep his word. Isn't it amazing? when you're together in a partnership and you haven't got that trust, you don't keep each other's word, you break the trust. How cruel and hurtful is it when someone won't agree or disagrees and hateful and argue? This is how Yahuwah spent centuries going through his, his works with his people trying and trying and trying to show them how he wanted them to be, giving them the commands which they never kept, giving them all his prophets and teachers and all the kings and the priests and the way that he wanted them to be. And how cruel, how horrible, how hideous were his people to him. They never, except a couple of amazing people like David and Moses and those people that loved him dearly. It's so sad to see and to see the heart of Yahuwah and what he actually had to go through and how I've never really looked at the incredible abuse that he had from his chosen race still going on today and how could he get out of that marriage how would he how would he be able to after all the promises and promises that he gave to his people how could he get out of that marriage other than divorce them and then even divorcing how can he really set his bride free other than dying and that was his wonderful plan how he Yahuwah didn't want to be anymore and came into Yahusha at conception in the flesh sinless blood 
he came into the world a new creation. We've never seen this understanding. We've never understood this or gone further than just seeing. He was born of a virgin. He came and, and, and suffered and died for us and took our sins. This is just amazing to come through, to understand the heart of our Elohim. Yahusha is our Elohim and this is who we who we worship because he died and set his wife free. He set his bride free to be and go into the world and do whatever they want, which they're doing today in the Yahuwah only movement in all those people that won't accept Yahuwah, Yahush, Yahuwah and morphed into Yahusha and became a new creature. And this is in the scripture. It's all scripture. It's true. It's a revelation for the last days to reveal who is coming on the cloud back to take us up in the air. This is amazing, brothers and sisters. This is your way out of your marriage to die to yourself, to change. My husband changed so much. I didn't haven't even recognized him sometimes and thinking that he's going to flare up and doesn't thinking that he's going to be angry at my hair strings but he doesn't unbelievable change this is how we have to come to change and become like Yahusha become a new person a new creature and that'll be all culminated when we're taken up in the air unbelievable and it's true, it's believable, it's a real thing. Sisters, this is your way out of the bondage you are in marriage to die to yourself and become a new person. Become a new person and then you will have the love that will flow out of you. You'll have Yahusha's love for your partner, for your, for your husband, for your friends, for your family, you will love the unlovely, you will love those that hate you, you will have amazing understandings. And this is the way out. I just hope this can be a really good understanding because halfway through this video, the audio stopped and I had dreadful groanings and mournings like horrible groanings come into the video. And I don't know where that's from. So I've had to redo it. Unbelievable. There's so many things that come at you, sisters, to stop you. You have to recognize the demonic attack on our, our truth, on our love, on our being set free and, and being able to be who Yahusha wants you to be. This person that I am now isn't what Yahusha wants to take. I have to change. I have to know that I'm, I'm wanting to change. He has so much love for you. Yahusha's love is overwhelming. And sisters and brothers, please understand that he's doing a new thing in these last days and flow with it understand it's all in scripture and being revealed thank you for listening i love you all bye no more